Libra, my loves, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dawson, welcome to Gen TV. All right, Libra. I've been meditating on it. Here I am meditating and uh, music comes into my head. I'm like, I'm trying to meditate. But uh, you get that earworm and it persists. So I'm like, all right. All right, you're trying to tell me something, universe. Changes by David Bowie. Changes. That's totally how it goes, okay? So, yeah, and um, as I was going with it, I saw the tower in my mind, so the revelations kind of came into it. So, so things are going to change. There's going to be revelations, are there? Let's have a look, shall we? Bear in mind, my loves, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. I'm not doing private readings at this time. So, uh, sorry about that. Just, uh, it got a little bit too overwhelming. Too many, so. Alright, Libra changes. Jesus, what? First card out, death? It's like changes if any card in the it doesn't represent death if any card represents changes it's that one. Oh, what what the well so we've got That's the vibe. Changes coming in. Crossed by the cause of the changes are the Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords is about, uh, it's kind of a stressful card. It's a lot of anxiety. It's a lot of worrying. It's like waking up at three o'clock in the morning and <laughs> did I leave the oven on? <laughs> Things like that. But, you know, this is a love reading. So it's waking up at three o'clock in the morning and thinking, uh, why are they not calling me? What did I do? What did I say to make it all go wrong? That's all about to change. This is what you need to know right now. Eight of Cups. So why is the Eight of Cups here? That's about setting boundaries. That's about walking away from things that you might want them. Oh, deja vu. Interesting. So, uh, uh, quite intense deja vu actually. Like this, I, I kind of have them during readings sometimes, but that was like <laughs> deja vu. Oh, so eight of cups is very relevant then. I'm doing this in 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 the uh, other realities that's that's going on for me right now. I'm seeing the eight of cups for you. So eight of cups is about uh, walking away from might be something that you want but you know you've been very disappointed by the outcome so you know you kind of have to let it go and withdraw it's like withdraw your love withdraw your energy with withdraw your presence <laughs> so Clarifying that we've got the Four of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, and da, 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 the Sun. The Sun's great. The Sun is kind of when something horrid turns up in a reading, which it kind of hasn't actually. When something horrid turns up in a reading, it's like, yeah, don't worry about that. It's cool. Just, just, just. Yeah, it sucks, but just put that over there. We haven't really got anything particularly horrid. I mean, you're already walking away from this connection because I don't want to say relationship you're walking away from this connection already because it's it's hurt you it's full-on given you nine of swords tormented you I actually want to say tormented you you've you've probably done that whole dark night of the song are we you want to tell me about that in the comments below have you gone there I've I freaking had them oh, many a dark night of the soul over my last romantic connection, well, not my last one, the one before that. Yeah, I had a few dates with someone. It was 
nice, but it didn't work. I wasn't nine of swords about it. I'm a twin flame though, so uh, you know, getting into any other sort of romantic situation with someone else, it's uh, it's never really gonna be overwhelming. Getting all the twin flames out there, so ho! Oh, we're not calling me a ho, just just capital letters. Ho! Oh, thank you very much. All right, anything else Libra needs to know right now? Getting a really itchy nose. That's uh, something big's coming in, guys. Changes and revelations. That's for sure. Things are, it looks like right now, everything that's happened, you're walking away, taking a breather. Start thinking about, you know, what you do want. Just not to be treated like that again. So it's, it's like, you're starting to move forwards and it hurts because you really wanted this, but they never gave anything back. And you sort of felt like if I wait around long enough, maybe they were just waiting for the right time. And you're starting to realize that that's not the case, is it? I reckon you've probably been waiting around for this person for a good deal of time. Probably more than a year. I feel like you've kind of felt, all right, I, I, I'll wait for you forever. But forever kind of became a bit too long, didn't it? I can see that. We've got the sun in the reading. And the decision that you're making now the way it feels now, your time, you're ready to move on, it's good. So these are your changes. These are your revelations. It's not them coming in making a revelation. It's you going, you know what? I'm not going to deal with this anymore. I'm not going to wait for something that's never going to happen. What's coming in the near future? Does that tell you? Two of Cups in reverse. Kind of says it all, really. You know that it feels like you were kind of always on the back foot with this person. You were always, I don't know, waiting for them you were always the one that loved more you were you were always the one that was putting more effort into it and uh you just now see the imbalance and you see that it's never going to rebalance no the love is in reverse You're, you're coming to that point where it's, with the two of ones here, it's like after the battle that this was for you, you know, it's not been, it's, it's been nine of swords for you. It's been torment. So that's the battle that you've been through, the torment, the dark night of the soul. After that, you know, moving on. After that, you're, sorry, my lights are dimmed. Hey, my computer screen is illuminating me. After that, you sort of, you, 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 five of cups here, you've, you've lost those three, you know it, but you're past that now. You're getting to the point where you can see the two cups behind you and you know you've got something to look forward to, it just wasn't them. So it's after the battle now. It's never going to work with them because this is the best you can hope for. Three of Cups in reverse. 
It's not just you in their life, is it? You're coming to that point. The revelation isn't, they're not going to reveal anything to you. You're revealing this to yourself. You're saying, I don't want this anymore. I can't live like this. I can't. I can't be the only one talking. I can't be the only one saying this is how I feel. Sending them messages. Letting them know that you're there for them. You can't be the only one doing that. You can't be the only one... Well, more than that, you, you can't go through another dark night of the soul. You can't. Lay there. Fetal position. Not knowing how you're going to get through the next minute. I know. I know. Can't do that anymore. And there was someone else, and this is why that this is why you were always waiting for them to make the decision. I'm gonna leave them for you. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna walk away from it to be with you. And you're like, I wait forever, but forever seemed like, oh wait, actually you're you are never going to make a move, are you? So my forever is too long because it's never gonna happen, is it? Well, well done. Well done, my loves. This is where you... Hello, Gary. Hello. The door's open, baby. We're not playing this game again with him. He's being very fussy at the moment. He, uh, I mixed his wet food with his dry food you know, a bit of a treat. He was like, I'm not touching that muck. He started to scrape his feet around the bowl like it was poo. Like it was his litter tray. And now the door's open. No, no, I want to come through the window. It's not the same. Cats. I thought he'd like... Sorry, I'm, I'm going off on one. I'll stop going off on one. Cats are, are very particular is that is that a thing that your cats do do they like look at their food and then start digging it like it's a litter tray like no this is this is cat's poo i'm not eating this the good stuff as well the expensive stuff anyway I sort of feel like you're getting it now. You're kind of getting it. This is you. You're finally setting your boundaries, especially with this person, which you could never do that before. And now you are. Now you're saying, nah, mate. Nip, 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 nip. Them, they are going to continue on the path that they've been on. That doesn't, ex I'll have a look, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they are going to contact you or reveal anything. I don't think the revelation is coming from them. It's coming from within you. Let's have a look. Tell me about them. You're setting your boundaries and you're like, you know what, I'm done with you. No, they're still giving you the cold shoulder. Uh, I, I would not expect anything from them. Oh, he's so cute, isn't he? He's so pretty. So the outcome here, we've got the Three of Swords in reverse. Good. Good, good, good. I'm going to take this into extended where I'm going to ask about this person. Where are you in their heart space? How do they really, truly feel about you? What are their intentions towards you? you know, are they going to come forwards? Are they going to come towards you? What do they want to say to you in some guidance from the universe? Well, let's have a look at this Three of Swords first. Why is the Three of Swords in reverse here? Ha! Ha now! All I can see is all of this, the changes, the revelations are coming from you. You're you're stepping into your power, my love. Uh, yeah, this is you, Justice. This is you. It's a Libra. You, I see you being very balanced now in the near future, healing that broken heart. <laughs> I can kind of see them 
Like, oh, man, there they are looking up at you like, perhaps a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn, looking up at you like, oh, man, glow up. You are looking fine. What kind of mistakes have I made? They're not going to change, though. They're not going to... I think they're going to look. They're going to be looking, but they... The revelations, the changes are not coming from them. They're still going to do what they were doing. This is uh, you. All you, baby. Oh, he's so cute. Look at his little chin. Oh, my God. He's rubbing himself on me. Hello. I can't stand how cute you are. I'm going to open the window. Oh, he breaks my heart. I love him so much. All right, hold on. Yeah, Your Song of the Day's Changes by David Bowie. See that, that guy there, the fluffy one, with the cute paws, that's the man in my life. Oh, a fiery climax approaches. Oh, all these cards. Should we give you a wee palette cleanser as well? Why not? Why not? Okay, yes. Okay. Alright, let's have a little palette cleanser for you, then we'll take it into the extended. Look at him. Look at him. You handsome boy. Speak the language of love. Loving words have the power to change lives, including your own. I, yeah, affirmations, speak the language of love, give yourself affirmations, what I seek also seeks me, I'm releasing any blocks, I'm something like that, what I seek, the love that I seek also seeks me, I release any blocks that I'm holding on to, that we're holding on to, something like that, give yourself some affirmations, I'm probably saying it wrong, but I, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at some affirmations for you for next week. Anyway, thanks for joining me. See you later.